Namaste, uh, welcome back to tutorial series on Superpro Designer for Beginners. In the previous lecture, we understood how to develop a process flow sheet for a given uh, case. Uh, in this uh, uh, tutorial, I'll just sh show you how to locate the unit procedures or procedures uh, in general required for development of such uh, uh, process. For example, I have uh, taken here the etaconic acid production. If you could able to see the complete process, you can just scroll down and we can view the complete process where you can understand a lot of unit procedures are employed for the complete process simulation. So many times this uh, in, in uh, one window to view them is very difficult. You can use this button called as toggle overview navigator, you could able to see just you can just navigate here so that you can easily move around the whole complete process sheet. So you can notice there is you can notice here evaporator is there, crystallizer is there and many different unit procedures are employed in this particular process flow sheet. And one more example I will show you here it is lactic acid production from corn stover. you can go to toggle overview and you can notice here also there are a lot of procedures are employed you can notice here the splitters are there and uh, mixers are there, mixing strings, distillation columns and many more. So let us see how to uh, locate them. Uh, you go to this uh, unit procedures uh, menu, uh, one by one I will go through. The first one you can notice this batch vessel. So whenever we simulate batch processes or batch reactions, so you can notice here they are available uh, equipment options. One is a reactor. Uh, for any process capacity you can use them. Seed reactor wherever you want to simulate a small uh, plant like for example, especially lab scale or pilot scale you can use seed reactor. Both shares the same characteristics when you want to uh, set up the reactor but as I already told for smaller volumes you can go with seed reactor and basically what happened the scale up process where step by step for example you see a carry out process in 1 liter then you go to 10 liter then 100 liter 1000 liter so in the during the scale up studies definitely these options are useful next we have a bioreactor generally they are used for uh, cell culture animal cell culture or plant cell culture uh, this is generally employed bioreactor the same again smaller version is heat bioreactor and we have dispel, uh, disposable bioreactor means single use bioreactor Many times in animal cell culture or for biopharmaceutical production. So, and when small volumes of reactions are carried out or something around 100, 200 liter. So, the contamination issues are there means one, one batch, the same reactor used for multiple batches. So, we need to sterilize thoroughly and we have to use the reactor. To avoid such contamination issues, they employ the single use bioreactors are generally called as disposable bioreactors. The smaller version seed bioreactor is available and fermenter is generally the microbial fermentations you can employ this fermenter and airlift there is one more configuration called as airlift fermenter you can employ. And the next uh, menu you can see the next category is like continuous reaction generally continuous processing or continuous bio manufacturing is gaining lot of importance these days. So under the continuous reaction you can have this stoichiometric so whenever you do not have kinetic information you want to just uh, have a reaction information you can use this stoichiometric reactors under stoichiometric you can you have continuous stir tank reactor plug flow reactor continuous fermenter continuous seed fermenter continuous air lift fermenter race away ponds these are generally employed in algal uh, cultivation you can see the race away ponds and electro winning cells under this kinetic again you have CSTR PFR fermenter and seed fermenter under equilibrium reactor just you can have equilibrium uh, CSTR and in environmental reaction especially wastewater treatment or like biogas production uh, this uh, equipments are useful and one is aerobic bio oxidation generally in wastewater treatment you used and you can see aerobic bio oxidation anaerobic digestion in biogas plant trickling filtration generally used in wastewater treatment or even vinegar production this trickling generators or trickling filters are used anoxic reaction layer with no oxygen uh, reactions you need to carry out you can use this neutralization reaction for example high acid stream or high alkali streams need to be neutralized you can use this particular operation wet air oxidation incineration and uh, uv radiation under this kinetics also you can see uh, whenever you have a kinetic information you can go uh, with such unit procedures 
and inoculum preparation generally bioprocess industries or biopharmaceutical industry these are very important uh, we need to develop inoculum before uh, going for the main process you have some cells or you have taken it from any culture banks we need to revive them and we need to develop inoculum and bring it to some uh, state and then we transfer into the bigger vessel under inoculum preparation you can see the roller bottles tea flasks generally they are employed in animal cell culture shake flask test tubes and rocking bioreactors even these are used for animal cell culture and next category is like filtration is a very important unit uh, operations employed in bioprocess industries under this filtration you can have microfiltration ultrafiltration reverse osmosis diafiltration dead end filtration plate and frame rotary vacuum so you can see many different filtration options which are widely used in uh, process industries are available here and centrifugation you can see the decanters are there for the best example is you want to separate this oil and water you can go with a decanter disc bowl disc stack centrifuge bowl centrifuge so hydrocyclone and many more and even homogenization you can see high pressure homogenization bead milling is available nano milling are available you can use if it is required and under chromatography section you can have gel filtration packet bed adsorption chromatography simplified detailed and each equipment many times we ask why can't we have one uh, box and we can set up no each equipment each process is different because the continuous cell tank reactor simulation required different data in different way and batch reactor requires different uh, the maybe same data you can feed it to batch reactor as a few data but it need to be input in different manner that is the reason each equipment is unique and each equipment required different input and output information that need to be specified and drying under drying you can have tray dryer freeze dryer uh, double cone dryer and many more and you can sedimentation columns decanting clarification generally they are used in uh, wastewater treatment as sedimentation unit phase change this is very important it's because evaporators or crystallizers are not grouped in one main category under phase change generally uh, crystallization or evaporation when you start concentrating the phase change takes place crystallization phenomena happen you can see flash evaporation condensation thin film evaporation continuous crystallization are available under distillation generally used in ethanol uh, distillation or uh, when you want to separate uh, any of this uh, two phases as for example two different um, liquids you can go for distillation you can have a batch continuous shortcut rigorous we will look into it later and yeah, under extraction you can have a liquid for example when you want to uh, extract liquid from the liquid you can go with mixer settlers differential extractor centrifugal extractor solid leaching uh, generally uh, for example you want to extract some phytochemicals from solid material or plant material you can go with this solid leaching adsorption and stripping or absorption and stripping uh, degasification storage vessel these are very important uh, we see uh, frequently for example once the fermentation is over we need to send it to a storage vessel where that is to taken from di uh, two different unit operations or, or else you need to prepare media and we need to send it to a fermenter so that time these vessels are useful you can see this bulk uh, discrete we'll see what is this bulk and discrete later in the bulk you can have this uh, batch process and then you can you go with batch and use this uh, uh, particular blending tank flat bottom tank receiver tank and many more under the continuous also same uh, uh, storage tanks or mixing tanks available but it is fed in a continuous manner and even discrete you can have the options and even disposable you can have a storage vessel generic storage vessels are also available under heat exchangers very important any process we need to maintain the heat our uh, particular temperature isothermal reactors we need to maintain particular temperature definitely you can use these heating systems like you can see heating electrical heating cooling heat sterilization you want to do or pasteurization you want to do you can employ uh, such uh, unit procedures and mixing uh, for example two streams are coming we need to mix for example i have an ethanol i need to make 70 percent ethanol i can make concentrated ethanol and water to get 70 percent ethanol you can have for example are you mixing two streams three streams you have almost nine streams could be mixed and there are option of custom mixing for example i have 30 percent glucose i need to make it to 10 percent glucose i need to dilute it means for a required concentration you need to dilute it in these streams two streams are coming just mixed and you are going to get output you cannot have an option of setting what particular concentration you required but in case of custom mixing or flow adjustment you can with uh, required concentrations of output you can adjust 
and even mixer uh, mixture preparations and in media preparation you have five to six components need to be at different concentration you can use this mixture preparation unit and you can develop again you have a discrete flow flow splitters many a times we see uh, some process streams need to be split into two different processes okay for example you prepared media in one tank and whatever the flow is coming out of that particular media preparation tank you need to send it to a fermenter also you need to send it to a seed reactor also you need to send it to a shake flask also you can use splitters for example i can use two way splitter three way splitter and custom splitters are also available required upon concentration you can distribute it and uh, distribution uh, devices are also three way five way ten way distribution is also available for example you have a component flow splitting screening so uh, for example vibrator screening all these things are available in washing you can have bulk washing step and discrete washing step you want to wash any particular process for example some corn stover is coming you need to wash that particular corn stover and then you can use this washing step size reduction I mean, uh, best example i can say is corn stover is used in lactic acid production it is in a bigger mass so we need to reduce the size into smaller particles and then we need to send it to the process for better efficiency then you can see grinding is there shredding is there formulation and packing you can notice like extrusion uh, the best example is for example when your kurkure and all is made there are used extruders for that purpose and you can use like trimming labeling printing this everything simple yeah, every operation is very much essential and it uh, impacts your further process all right economics of the process for example you want to transfer this uh, fluids uh, at uh, near uh, one procedure to another procedure then for example you want to transfer liquid then you can go with centrifugal pump diaphragm, diaphragm pump gear pump peristaltic pump for example you want to transfer gases best example is in fermentation we need to continuously supply the air there you can use this centrifugal compressor fan vacuum pump and many more and you can use solids for example corn stover from uh, one location like for example in the process a storage uh, uh, department you need to transfer into a main process then you can go with uh, uh, this uh, conveyors especially belt conveyor pneumatic conveyor screw conveyors and many more transport far uh, for example uh, you need to add these operations so like uh, for example you are bringing some corn stover from uh, some 10 kilometers or 100 kilometer far from your particular site then you can go with uh, are you going by land for example you use truck you need to use train sea route or rail route those options are also available and pressure drops for example you can see gate valve globe valve butterfly valve these are all used when you are when there is a pressure drop and even gas flow also you can use those reactors and power generation in for example you are going to uh, generate power using your uh, like process for example there are some waste is generated in your process that could be incinerated you generate some power or that is used in steam generation then definitely you can employ this one and generic boxes when you don't find uh, your specific equipment in this list you can employ these generic boxes and you can uh, create your own a set of reactions or process then these generic boxes are useful and design specific uh, you need to have a flow you need to have a specific flow a specific composition temperature then you can use this particular design specific uh, equipments so then many times we have a problem when we develop any process flow sheet so what where to connect what is what uh, best example i'll show you with one case today from reactor when i'll just one place uh, place a reactor here there are a lot of outputs are there, lot of inputs are there to, to which I need to connect. So to understand what is this input and output, then if you just click this equipment and if you press F1 and another window will open. So this window will clearly explain what are this. You can notice that default input, this white one, whatever you see, it's called default input. And you can see here also the white one, default output, and this is went and remaining there are a lot of additional ports are also available to add here for example you want to add water first then you add media then you want to continue supply the air you need three different stream in this case so you can here you can lot of streams are available you can add them and output streams also there are multiple output streams are available you can see and equipment description is even under what condition you can use this particular batch vessel procedure either you can employ it for batch process or even semi continuous process also you can employ this vessel and emission ports so what are this emission ports is it available for this yes definitely there is a uh, emission port called vent is available special inputs or outputs no 
and also what are the operations you can add. We will look into it later. Each batch procedure you can add lot of operation. For example, agitation, charge, CIP, clean in place, cool, crystallize and many different operations are available you can add. This is one example of batch vessel. For example, I will show you about some centrifugation, a decanter. Then we, this in, uh, you can notice here there is one only one input is there but three outputs are there. For example, when I use oil and water mixture is there, I need to decant it, I need to separate. I don't know which stream is connected to oil and which stream is connected to water. Because for example, this oil, best example is <clears throat> once oil is extracted from algae, then it's sent to decanter, then oil is separated using the decanter is sent to the reactor. Then I don't know which is the output oil stream and which is the water stream. Just you can right click on this. I just now I told you can press F1 once you highlighted that equipment or else you can just right click on that and you can select this F1. You can notice here one feed stream. This is by default feed stream and you can see this is oil stream. The first output whatever you see the oil stream then you need to connect. For example, it is further it is going for biodiesel production. You have to connect this oil stream into the reactor and this is the water and solids. For example, you are separating solids and liquids, then also you can use the decanter. Then definitely the bottom one is solid stream and you can identify like that. So this is, uh, you can easily understand what are the inputs and outputs available for each unit procedure. So accordingly you can connect them. If you connect to the wrong port, definitely you are going to waste lot of errors in the, uh, the post simulation. To avoid that, it is better to understand each equipment uh, neatly. Yes, I hope you understood what are all the unit procedures available in the SuperPro softwares and how to uh, identify the input ports and output ports and uh, please practice them for better understanding 